two, scene two and a half. Mercutio, his parents, and other relatives are at the Prince's Palace for dinner. The family is giving their opinion of the feud between the Montagues and the Capulets. The Prince attempts to avoid the conversation so he will have to take a side. Seeing these sides of the story later affect the Prince's decisions. I'm Mercutio. She is Lady Aeschylus. I am Lord Aeschylus. I'm the Prince. I'm the boy cousin. And I'm the girl cousin, but I have a quick announcement to make to the to my classmates in the viewing audience um, that I did not want to do this. It was the last part. I'm not some sort of mental dude who likes to dress up as girls. I, and I'm not afraid to sue for any further discrimination I get because of it. So, um, peace out and the dog man rules. Anyways, places, people, places. <laughs> Romeo was acting quite strange last night. He was missing in action and caused quite a fright. Well, maybe it was your bribery that made him uncomfortable. After all, he didn't want to go to the gathering. Sure, but it's not like I made him go there. He took a bite of the forbidden fruit. Let's just let this go for now. We don't want to cause controversy at the dinner table. Okay. Good evening. It's great to see you all. Hope we've been keeping out of trouble. I try my best to keep out of trouble. You'll always be in some sort of trouble. Now, now. Let's keep the fight to a minimum. I haven't seen you in so long, my cuz. Look at this mighty piece. Let's eat it like it was our last supper. So, how has this been going to be, my cuz? Pretty bad when a horrible feud is going on between the two rival families. I don't get anything too dangerous, though, like death or fights in my neck of the woods. I'm glad and astounded to hear that. I would expect more with such a known feud. It's hard to believe that it all started from a piece of land in the countryside. I'd love for it to end and bring peace in my land. I believe it was the Capulet's land. Why? You're just taking Juliet's side. I would surely choose the Montague's side. Well, that's just because you have a craving for Romeo. So what? Let us end this now and enjoy our meal. I'm clearly on the Montague side. They deserve the cool countryside estate, and it's not like it's Lord Montague's choice to have a family history of growing property. He's never stolen a thing from that man. I'm not keen for the Capulet side. I did go to school with Lord Capulet, and there's no reason to believe that this is his fault. He has proof of the purchase of the land. I'm sure you all have legit reasons for your choosing, but let's not talk about it. I do not want to have to choose a side. Don't go taking a bite of the apple. It's definitely irresistible. Apples are quite tasty, but I believe I'm too old to fall for that trap. I'm unfortunately pleased with your ability to refuse temptation. Oh, thank you. I'm very pleased with myself as well. As the broods from both houses grow older, they can't help but fight. Well, know that if they do happen to get into a fight, I'll just have to banish the ones that survive. I just find it hard to believe that such young men can get into the nastiest fight. Believe it. So whose side are you going to take? I'm 100% positive that I don't take sides. Even after what we have all just told you? I may use it when it comes time for me to make a decision of who's at fault. But as of right now, I'm done talking about those two families. Well, I must get going. Lady Aeschylus and I are ready to go home, and Mercutio must come with us. We must go, too. I will see you all again soon. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be for a bad reason. Thank you. My lady first. <laughs> Thank you for having us to this wonderful feast. <laughs> Those are all pretty legit reasons for them to choose that house. But many of those wouldn't be legit enough for me. This whole feud seems pretty fishy to me. It's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. There seems to be something that's making the circumstances worse. I'll find out, hopefully, before it's too late. Dun, dun, dun. dun.